Well, it's been a year full of fashion highs and lows. From style queens to shock frocks, our style squad have rounded up the red carpet hits and misses of 2015. The fashion commentator Melissa Hoyer, fashion designer Peter Morrissey, celebrity stylist Fleur Egan, and reality star and style guru <laughs> Ricky Ganassio. <laughs> style guru, you don't hear that much on the show. <laughs> Welcome to you all, guys. Good hey. to see you all. Uh, Melissa, we're going to start with you. Who was crowned queen of style in your eyes? In my eyes for 2015, it has to be Kate Blanchard. It. I think she did not put a foot wrong. I mean, the great thing about Kate is she really is inventive with her fashion as well. I mean, she'll she'll do something that's a little bit sort of left of field or a bit quirky, but it always works. And then she'll do something a little bit more conservative, like this black mm. dress. But by putting that extraordinary necklace on it, she just gives it that. Mm, quirk factor and I just I love and it's a very innate sense of style mm -hmm. I never find that it's too try hard I just think she has nailed it every time this year and I'm sure she'll do the same thing she next gives year it the, uh, she gets the, <laughs> gives the uh, into, uh, it, it was another Australian actress that yeah. stole the show for you this year and yeah. it was I mean it's Naomi Watts it's, it's like what Melissa said about Kate they wear the clothes but the clothes don't wear them yeah and so they have this thing look for her Kate Naomi's about very short the cheat, very to wear cheat. that grey feathered and to walk around in that and to, to live in that without you mm. just want to tell her she looks beautiful I think when they get it right they're told that they look beautiful first instead of the designer which would disgrace most designers in my position not being <laughs> spoken about first but I think they just have an incredible quality of putting the clothes together to suit them to suit yeah. the woman they are to suit the occasion and they dress appropriately for all the different aspects of it I think it's incredible beautiful. there Flo you've yeah. been busy with your <laughs> these years uh, <laughs> the 2015 ARIA awards were a big highlight for you right um, really now you, you styled the Veronica's they looked uh, incredible who topped the best dress list this year for you Oh, well, I mean, I, I'll, I'll talk about the Veronica's a little yeah. bit myself because for me, it, it's, it's quite a lot of pressure to get people on the, the, the best dress list again. And yeah. we did such a, a big achievement last year with the Veronica's. So it was really, you should this be very year, proud. yeah, I was really proud this yeah. year. And I wanted to do, um, to do something, to do something different. So, I mean, it was amazing to work with Shaton again. And I just wanted to give, last year the dresses were really dark. So this year I wanted to bring a bit more of a fantasy mm. and a lightness to the, to the and gowns. And they are petite girls. Mm. So you're oh. petite. dressing petite. someone who is six foot two. Exactly. They are petite and yet. The dresses didn't drown them at all. Oh, at all. And it was um, it was a real real career highlight, and it's just amazing to be able to work with such talented designers and such amazing artists. It's, it really is a team effort to to produce something like that. Where on I the right with what you did is because they dressed appropriately again for the occasion. There was mm -hmm. no so many people not dressed in award ceremony. You did an amazing yeah. job with them. Oh, really thank you. Really Ricky, really we'd love to hear your input. Jenny from the block has rocked every red carpet. <laughs> 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 <I'm> surprised, Jordan. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at uh, some of your favourite looks from the year. Of course, we're talking about. This for me is is yeah J Lo J -Lo looks absolutely stunning. I mean, for the dress, to the shoes, the hair, even tied a little bit behind her ears, so showing off those earrings. I mean, this is perfect red carpet. <laughs> uh, I think she looks absolutely stunning, and she's nailed it. Okay, uh, let's move on to the stars who fashion failed uh, to make the headlines this year. All made the headlines for all the wrong reasons. Mm. Melissa Rihanna, top your list of. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, yeah. I mean, there were a few, but Rihanna, I went through sort of the whole year and pretty much she didn't quite get it. It's funny because Rihanna went through this great sort of fashion renaissance a couple of years ago where she looked fantastic all the time, but this year yeah. it, everything was sort of really velour, like there was a lot too much volume yeah. and it just didn't work because she's the most exquisite looking yeah. woman, and, but I think it was just all too much okay. this year. Hey. Sorry, Rihanna. Jane Fonda took home a gong from you that she probably doesn't want. <laughs> well, right? I'm a little bit worried that Fleur over here might, this might be one of her top looks for the year. No. <laughs> I keep going to everyone, do I put this in or Fleur's going to go, I really like that one. I think um, she looks like is, the green lantern. Yeah, it's a green lantern. <laughs> <laughs> this one has a green toe. Um, oh, I just I think this is a... In, Unbelievable. Oh. Like, this outfit I don't think on anyone young, anyone rock and roll. I just don't understand it at all. Like I it, like uh, that necklace. It though. looks like she's got a hairy chest that. hanging out of it. Oh, oh be it. <laughs> all right, let's move on. The, the good, it's Santa's helper. The good wife actor Alan Cummings was a standout at the Emmys in uh, Crocs. <laughs> Fleur. Oh, my God. Oh, Bring it. it. Just no. I mean, my yeah, real pet peeve is when um, you're sort of bringing comedy to the red carpet. I just don't think that's the place to do it through your outfit. And I mean, I had trouble buying Crocs for my son. Even when he was three, I was like, mm, questionable, should I? You know, I don't want to see a, a grown man wearing Crocs on the but red carpet. Do you think carpet. he did it to bring comedy or do you think he thought he looked good? Well, it's I, just, don't I don't think how it's, it's, a, it's Charlie Chaplin Crocs yeah. thing, isn't it? Ricky, yeah, not, not Madonna, uh, yeah. a matador inspired brand. 
Grammys oh, frock yeah, yeah. topped your miss yeah. list of 2015. Yes. <laughs> Actually, she missed uh, the back end of it. I feel like Madonna's <laughs> had a few drinks, got, got home, turned the, turned the bedroom light off, a pair of shoes, a pair of lingerie, a hat, then she thinks she's going to a fancy dress party. I just don't think this outfit, especially for the red carpet, does not work at all. Mm. I think she um, took from the sex box. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, girl. dodgy, hey? Uh, Peter, you'd like to uh, give the Style Squad Outstanding Achievement Award to <laughs> who? Well, I think Caitlyn Jenner has to get the Outstanding Achievement in the first white dress she appeared in. I mean, mm. she'll probably go to the stylist, I don't know. So, this is an incredible example of someone using fashion and clothing in a way that just whisk, that just quiets down everything that's going on mm. and all you looked at her and just said wow there's Caitlyn Jenner I mean that's an extraordinary moment to do that so I think that's when fashion is extraordinarily exciting to watch and the other one is Adele I think Adele all year proves that um, style beauty and elegance doesn't have a fashion label size mm. there's no size to that so um, I think she's a beautiful example of everyone can look beautiful Oh, oh, that's a, that's a nice, oh, that's a really nice way to Very, very ho ho ho. Or as we say here, everyone can get a ooh from Pete. Yeah. 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 No, that wasn't a no, that was a ah. Oh. That was a ah. Oh. Oh. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. So, thank you, Ricky, for joining yeah. us. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ricky. And all this Love morning Ricky. to Flo, Pete, and Melissa. Have a Pleasure. merry Christmas. You too. Right. Uh,